Okay, so today we're gonna to go over our biosignature procedure uh, that we use with most of our clients, actually all of our clients. Uh, we're gonna go through 12 sites of the body today uh, with this caliper. I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, what the hormones mean and how it affects everything. So first we'll start with chin and cheek. So our chin and our cheek are usually secondary body fat. We don't focus too much on those here in Canada. In the States it might be different. Uh, chin is what we call secondary refined carbs. So if you go and have sushi on the weekend, uh, we'll see a difference in our, our body fat there. And the cheek is secondary estrogen, where you're looking at uh, pre-cycle, post-cycle, uh, a couple of beers, a glass of wine, ibuprofen, Axe spray, perfume for her, all these things will cause secondary estrogen. Next, we're gonna go to the pec region. So she's gonna take her thumb, she's gonna push in her leg, perfect, good. Stay like that, and relax. Good, so pec region talks about how much testosterone we have, how much we're converting to estrogen. It's also a secondary immunity site, so I find if someone's getting sick, you're gonna see testosterone kind of go down, okay? We're gonna face that direction. Tricep is next, okay? This is gonna talk a little bit about uh, all the hormones in our body and how they work together. Good, drop and relax, good stuff. Okay, so when you go back to tricep, it tells us a little bit about also how our immunity is going, as well as all the androgens and all the other hormones in your body. So if Deanne, let's say, doesn't sleep for four nights, she goes to Vegas, has a great time, uh, tricep movement's gonna go up. Okay, it's gonna recognize that shift in the hormones. Okay, we're gonna face that direction. We're gonna do subscap next, which talks a little bit about how genetically we deal with carbohydrates, how our insulin is. Are we insulin sensitive or are we not? Good. So. Uh, this score is important because it's affected by how we sleep, okay? Also our training modality. So the more we train, a lot of times we metabolize insulin a lot better. So it's a very important site for a lot of people which tells us also, should we be having fats? Should we be having carbs? What should we be eating? Okay, next we go on to, we're gonna do right arm on the head. Good, we're gonna do the waist right there. So we're gonna do mid auxiliary, which is right here and talks us a little bit about our thyroid and how that's working, okay? So our thyroid meridian obviously is gonna tell us uh, it's affected by cortisol, stress, and insulin. So it's a pretty tricky site for a lot of people. Um, so if any of those hormones are out of whack, it's gonna increase body fat in this area. So when we fix those three hormones, we find the thyroid starts to work again. It's an important site for a lot of people, especially women that are pregnant or finish their pregnancy, because they've had a long time of not sleeping, not eating well, and obviously a lot of stress. Next, we're gonna go back to our, our second insulin site, which is very important. It's actually the only site we control. And it's our superiliac crest, and it's about controlling what you eat, the times, the quality, and the quantity. So this is different from the site we had back here, which is more of a genetic site. This site is fast to move, easy to fix, but also one that we control with our eating. It's also the number two uh, most difficult site for North Americans. We're gonna do belly button next, which is our umbilical site, okay? Umbilical is gonna tell us not if you're stressed, but how much stress hormone or cortisol has been in your system over a period of time. And this is related to stressful thoughts, obviously inflammation, uh, food sensitivities, uh, damage to the intestines, all these things affect um, our issue right here and this is where we'd collect the body fat. So we're gonna be back in the next segment. We're gonna talk about the lower body, okay? And we'll see you soon. Okay, so we're gonna talk about uh, sleep quality and sleep length in relation to uh, growth hormone release. So when we do that, our sleep sites are our knee and our calves. So we're gonna test those out uh, see what we get and talk a little bit about why these are important. All right, and point the toe that way, good. Good, yeah, so great sites again uh, for Deanne. So showing a couple things that uh, your sleep is regulated uh, throughout the night for different things. So think of it as if there is sleep disruption, A, we'll collect body fat in these areas. Uh, but most of North Americans have some sort of sleep issues because we have cell phones in the room, we have LED lights in the room, uh, we sleep with the TV on, we have light coming in the windows, all those things will disrupt your sleep and give you that uh, five or six minutes to fall asleep at night, that disrupted sleep in the middle of the night, the snoozing two or three times in the morning, or the two to three uh, p.m. maybe afternoon kind of crash that you get. Those are all shows of ways that we're not sleeping well. So for us, a couple things that you can do is also obviously remove those things. We also wanna look at what's affected. So let's say 11 to one is a severe insulin time. So people that have, let's say, a glass of milk and an apple before bed, it'll disrupt their sleep during those times. Uh, between one and 3 p.m., those are different things. Your liver is actually doing a lot of cleaning during that time. So it's important that, you know, imagine if every night those times are being disrupted, 
we're gonna have issues as well. Okay, yes, I'm in an awkward position, but either way, we're gonna focus on the quadricep now, uh, which for a lot of women and some men are a big site of issue, um, obviously working on estrogen. Uh, so the liver site is one of the ones we're gonna look at right now. And when we test the site, uh, we try to keep it right in the center. She's gonna do a leg extension for us, good. And then drop and relax, good. So Deanne's score is perfect. She has, you know, 15 millimeter there, which is a great score for quad. Uh, a lot of women probably hate her right now. Um, but this focuses on how the liver is pulling out toxins out of the system and how's it dealing with it. So if a lot of toxins coming in and too much is coming in that we can get rid of, uh, the liver has to make or the body makes more fat cells to put toxin into it, which starts moving on the quad. And that's the result of the liver being full of too much toxin. So things like beer, alcohol, um, over-the-counter meds, birth control, cosmetics, you know, anything along those lines, even GMOs and problems with foods, all these things the liver has to focus on and filter. All right, so we're at our last site, uh, which is the hamstring. Uh, a pretty serious site for, I would say, for most women uh, to get leaner and to get in condition. And a lot of it has to do with toxins coming into the body. So uh, think of the hamstring as it picks up the things that are coming on a daily basis. So if on the weekend, Deanne and I go out, we have white wine all weekend and, you know, a couple of shots, both of our hamstrings are going to increase with some body fat. It's going to recognize it. The difference will be how fast can you pull that toxin out. Uh, some people can't, so there's an accumulation of body fat in the hamstring and it stays that way. Other people, great at pulling it out, it'll go up for a couple of days, come back down. So the site we measure is right here, just below the glute fold. She's going to do a leg curl for us. Good, drop and relax. Okay, as again, same thing, great score for Deanne, so 14, which is a great score. Shows her body has the ability, A, to pull out toxins, but also there's not a lot of toxins coming in. So I hope you guys really enjoyed our segment on Biosignature. Uh, you can check it out at www.beelite.ca for more information uh, as a great way to learn to regulate hormones and focus on stress-reduced fat loss.